Problem B2, let's go and play. Hold on, Morgan. If you want to play five-a-side banana ball, then you need five players, right? Right. But we've only got four. Four? four? One, two, three, four. Someone's not here, B1. Let's find out who it is, B2. Right. Hands up if you're here. Hands up if you're not here. Um, bananas. You can't put your hand up if you're not here. That's right. If you could put your hand up, then you'd be here. Got it? No. no. But it's all right, Lulu. We know who's not here. Amy! Amy! Hello! I need someone to help me. Sure, Topsy. What's up? Well, my cousin Wally sent me a new board game, but I can't figure out the rules. And I know how good you teddies are with these sort of things. No problems, Topsy. We'd love to help. You go and get Amy Bananas and we'll meet you in the park in an hour. Right! Lead the way, Topsy. Thanks, Teddies! Come on, B1. After you, B2. After you, B1. Thank, Thank you. you. Oof. After you again, B2. Thanks, B1. <laughs> Amy! Come on, it's time to play. Sorry, Bananas. I'm too busy to play. Have fun! What? Aren't you coming? I'd love to, Bananas, but look at all the jobs I have to do. Weed the garden, paint the shed, sweep the floor, clean the windows, pick up the leaves. But how come you've got so many jobs, Amy? Because I didn't do everything I was supposed to do last week or the week before that. You did it? I was having so much fun reading my books, I just forgot. So now I have to make up for it and do all the jobs I should have done then. Oh. Poor Amy. This is a big lot of jobs to do. We've got a problem, B2. A big problem, B1. If Amy doesn't get all her jobs done, we won't be able to play five-a-side banana ball. And it's the perfect day for it. So what can we do? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's, it's helping Amy time! <laughs> Quick, B1, let's get all the things we need to help Amy do her jobs. A broom, a brush, a mop, a bucket. Right, let's go. Wait, B1. What is it, B2? Amy's list had lots of jobs. If we want to get them done quickly, we might need more things to help her. Where could we get them? Charlie! Goodness me! If Amy's list is as long as you say, then it sounds like she's got jobs galore. Jobs galore? That means she's got a lot of them. Do you think you can help? Don't worry, Bananas. You've come to the right place. I've got some ideas. Hello, Amy. Bananas, what are you doing here? We're going to help you to get your jobs done. You are? And we've got everything we need from Charlie. See? Uh, oh, thanks, Bananas. That's really very kind. Our pleasure, Amy. But maybe I should just finish the jobs myself. That will take too long. And we've got games to play and fun to be had. And besides, we like helping our friends. Well, oh, all right then. Right, B2, what's the first job on the list? I'll have this floor swept in no time. And I'll get some water in my bucket. Careful with that big broom, B2. Don't worry, Amy. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, sorry. I'll sweep that up right away. Help, help, poor, help, poor. Ah, Who turned out the lights? Watch where you're going, B2. I'm trying. A 
got my soapy water. Now to wash the floor. Look out, V2! Look out for what? <laughs> Hang on, V1! Look out, V2! <laughs> Did we make all that mess, V1? I'm afraid we might have, V2. Bananas! This will take forever to clean up. Don't worry, Amy. We'll clean it all up for you. No, it's okay. You've done plenty already. I'll just clean it up myself. Thanks. Sorry, Amy. What's our next job, B1? Uh, painting the shed, B2. That's going to take a very long time. Not with Charlie's super paint squirters. Then let's get squirting. Get ready. Get set. Oops. I think we missed the shed, B1. I think we missed it by a long way, B2. All our clothes. It'll take ages to get them clean again. We'll just wash them again. No, please, Bananas. I'll do it. Whatever you say, Amy. I think we'd better find some other thing to help Amy with, B2. I think you're right, B1. I know. We can tidy up the leaves in the garden. Great idea, B2. And we've got just the thing to do it. Just plug it in and turn it on. I'll turn it up to super suck so it sucks up the leaves even more quickly. We'll have this garden tidy in no time. I'll turn it off, me too! Now what's happening? I think you've turned it too far! It's gone from suck to blow! <laughs> Thanks, Amy! Bananas! Look at what's happened to our yard! Oops! You said you wanted to help, but you've only made things worse. We'll help you clean it up, Amy. No, the best help you can do for me, Bananas, is give no more help. Oh. Hi, Bananas. Where's Amy? She's, uh, uh she's, she's back at your place still. Still? She's doing her jobs. And we just gave her more jobs to do. More jobs? More. What are they talking about, Lulu? I don't know, Morgan, but we need to find out. Huh? What's all this? Wow. I've seen some mess before, but this is the messiest. It's even messier than my bedroom. Let's go and find Amy. Amy, what's going on? The bananas tried to help me to do my jobs. It doesn't look like they were very good at it. They weren't. The house is worse than ever. What's this? The jobs I didn't do over the last couple of weeks while I was reading my books. It's good that you want to catch up, Amy, but you don't have to do them all today. Well, I just thought it'd be a good idea to get everything done in one big go. It might sound good, but too much work is as bad as too much play. It's much better to do both every day. I know that now, especially after the bananas tried to help. And it's going to take all three of us to clean up this huge mess. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get going. Ah, bananas. I trust the tools worked successfully. The tools were tops, Charlie. Very tops, Charlie. <laughs> but... You look so sad, Bananas. Did something go wrong? Everything went wrong. Everything? Whenever we tried to help Amy, we just made things worse. Now she's really cross with us. We've made one of our best friends really sad. Oh dear, that's no good. No good at all. That's it. That's everything done. Oh, thank goodness. Um. Pooped. <clears throat> Excuse me, Teddies. Hello, Charlie. What brings you here? 
I just wanted to explain. Those tools that caused all the mess today. Yes? Well, <laughs> it was me who told the bananas to use them. So if you're going to be angry at anyone, you should really be angry with me. Angry? We're not angry. But the bananas think you're angry. The bananas? That's terrible. What should we do? It's easy. I'll just say sorry to them. The bananas might have made a mess, but they were really trying to help. And then we'll do the number one thing anyone can do with their friends. Uh, what's that, Teddies? Play! Yay! <laughs> you know the best thing about doing jobs, bananas? No, Amy. What's that? When the jobs are all done, you get to play afterwards. And we all love playing, right? Right! Especially five-a-side banana ball. Wait a minute. There's only four of us. Four? four? Amy's right. See? One, two, three, four. Hands up if you're here. Now, hands up if you're not here. Um, it could be... Me! Ah! <laughs> Tricked you! <laughs> Good one, Morgan! You're thrown! And you have to say who should catch it. Right. I say the catchers should be our very best friends. The, the bananas. bananas! Go, Bananas! <laughs> I've got it! I've got it too! Oh. We've, We've got, got it! it. Our oh, Bananas! Good morning, Lulu. Good morning, Morgan. What a beautiful day it is. Just right for having some fun. <laughs> Coming, Amy. Good morning, you two sleepy heads. What's for breakfast, Amy? Every bear's favourite, porridge. Porridge? Just like in the story. What story? My favourite story. Goldilocks. It's about three bears, just like us. And you know what they have for breakfast every day? Porridge? Exactly. Uh, it is cooked, isn't it? Try it. Hello, teeth and hello, gums. Open mouth and here it comes. Teddies, quick. It's an emergency. What kind of emergency, B1? A big kite emergency. Help! Get me down! Come on! I'll try B2. Gotcha, B2. Thanks, B1. Whoa! Oh no! Now it's got both bananas. Hang on, bananas. I'm coming. I've got you. Whoa! Now it's got the bananas and Morgan. B2, let go of the kites. Are you sure, Lulu? Positive. If you say so. What about our kite? It's heading for the park. After it! Wait, Wait for us! Bananas! Teddies! <gasps> Where are you going? <sighs> oh well. Guess I'll just have to play by myself then. Hmm. What's that delicious smell? It smells so good. Maybe I could try just one teeny weeny spoonful. Ouch! That's too hot! Oh dear, what a mess. I'll have to clean that up. After I have just one little taste. Oh, oh yuck! That's too cold. I wonder what this one's like. Mmm, just right. Oh, this is the tastiest porridge ever. Can anyone see it? Look, up in the tree. There you are, you cheeky kite. Let's pull it down, B1. Oh, 
Bombs! I think the wind is too strong for such a big kite. If you only had a smaller one... We do! At home! Then let's go and get it! Stop! Aren't you forgetting something? What's that? We haven't eaten our breakfast yet. Breakfast? What kind of breakfast? <laughs> Goldilocks's favourite! Porridge! Porridge? <laughs> it's delicious! Come on, Teddies! See you after breakfast, Bananas. <laughs> Hurry up, you slow coaches! That's funny. The door's open. <gasps> my porridge! And my book! Wait a minute. This is just like in the story. One bowl was too hot, one was too cold, and the last one <gasps> was just right, so she ate it all up. Morgan! Lulu! What is it? But what's wrong? Goldilocks has eaten our porridge. Goldilocks? Amy, Goldilocks isn't real. She's just a girl in a story. Oh, well, look, too hot, too cold, and just right. Maybe the wind blew the bowl off the table. But who ate the porridge? I'm sure there's a simple explanation. There is. It was Goldilocks. <laughs> Honestly, Amy. <laughs> Come on, let's clean up the mess. <sighs> Hello, Amy. Would you like to fly our kite with us? Thanks, Bananas. But I might just read my book. Oh, what's wrong, Amy? Is there anything we can do to help? I wish there was bananas. You see, I think Goldilocks ate my porridge. Porridge? <laughs> but Morgan and Lulu don't think Goldilocks is real. Don't worry, Amy. We'll help you find Goldilocks. But how will you do that? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's banana disguise time! Great costume, Bear 1. Thanks, Bear 2. When Goldilocks sees us, she'll think we're just a pair of bears. Not special bear detectives who are out to track her down. Magnifying glasses ready? Let's look for clues. That Goldilocks must be around here somewhere. Sorry, Bear One. <laughs> no harm done, Bear Two. I think we should start over at the Teddy's house, Bear One. Good idea, Bear Two. I'll get it. Uh, uh, hello? Don't move, Goldilocks. We've got you red-handed. Bananas. I'm not Goldilocks. I'm Amy. You are? You're right, Amy. You are you. Why are you dressed up like bears? This way, if Goldilocks sees us, she won't suspect we're after her. Good plan. Uh, I think I'll show you the scene of the crime. I made the porridge and left the bowls here. This is where Goldilocks found them. Let's examine the scene for clues, Bear One. What's going on? Stay where you are, Goldilocks. We've caught you red-handed. <laughs> He's not Goldilocks. He's Morgan. He is? Then you must be Goldilocks. She's not Goldilocks either, Bananas. I'm Lulu. Oh, so you are. Hi, Lulu. Come on, Bear Two. Let's go outside to look for clues. I'll cook some more porridge. You go that way. I'll go this way. Right, Bear Two. Bear Two. I think I see footprints. Do you think they belong to Goldilocks, Bear One? I'll follow them and see, Bear Two. The footprints lead to... To you, Bear Two. I think they're my footprints, Bear One. Oh, oh dear. dear. There's no sign of Goldilocks anywhere. We'll just have to look harder, B1. Look for signs. Look for clues. Stay alert for any news Be on guard Ears to the ground And listen hard for any sound Banana detective, banana detective On the trail 
hot on the track. Banana detectives, banana detectives, no case too hard to crack. Do you smell what I smell, B1? I smell porridge, B2. Porridge. <laughs> That's it. What's it? It's Goldilocks' favourite food. Yes, so we can use it to set a trap. Here's the porridge, just like you wanted, Bananas. Now to make sure Goldilocks smells it. Now quick, let's hide and wait for Goldilocks. <gasps> oh, there's that delicious porridge smell again. Mm, I really shouldn't, but it just smells so good. Hey, do I smell porridge? Don't move! We've got you now, Goldilocks! Wait! He's not Goldilocks! Oh, you're right. He's Morgan! Look! The porridge is gone! Goldilocks is here! Don't let her get away! Got you, Goldilocks! Stay right where you are! Uh-oh! You're not Goldilocks! You're Topsy! So you're the one who ate my porridge! Yeah, uh, I'm sorry, Amy. And did you break my bowl too? Yes, Lulu. And spill my porridge all over the table? Yes, Morgan. But why, Topsy? Because I love porridge so much, I just can't resist it. I'm sorry, Teddy. I promise I'll make it up to you. I'll, I'll come over and clean your house for a whole week. That sounds good to me. We accept. But you will forgive me, please. Of course we will, Topsy. I know my porridge tastes good. All this trouble just over a bowl of porridge. Porridge. <laughs> right, Bananas. I think it's time you learned something. Follow me. All right, Bananas. It's time to taste some proper porridge. Ready? Uh, after you, B2. No, no, after you, B1. Come on, Bananas, both together. Well? This porridge. It's banana-tastic. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's porridge-eating time. And there's some for all of us. Porridge time, everyone. You know what, B1? This is the best porridge we've ever eaten. And it's all thanks to Amy. Amy, your pyjama rific <laughs> Thanks, Bananas. Oof. Oh, Bananas. B1, Rat's got a letter. Why don't we take it to him? Good thinking, B1. Rat, you've got a letter. Oh, it's from my dear old mother. Cheese and whiskers. She's coming to visit me tomorrow. Don't you want to see your mother? It's just that, well, my mother thinks... I live in a big house. A big house? Yes, with servants. Servants? She thinks I'm the mayor of Cuddlestown. The mayor? But, Rat, you're not the mayor. I know. So why does your mother think you are? Well, I, I suppose I might have told her that. <gasps> you told your mother a fib? And now, when she visits, she'll be very upset to find I'm not the mayor at all. Rat, it was very naughty to tell your mother something that wasn't true. I know, Bananas. But what am I going to do about tomorrow? You told your mother a fib. I know, I know. It was wrong. But can you help me, Teddies? Please? I suppose so. If it was just for tomorrow. But what about the big house and the servants? We can look after that, Rat. Mayor for a day? Oh, I like that. And Rat, you have to promise us you'll write to your mother afterwards and tell her the truth. Do I have to? Yes! All right, I promise. <laughs> Hello, Mayor Rat. 
Hello, everyone. Well, Rat, just for today, this is your house. My house? Well, I like it. And we're going to be your servants. Excellent. Now, I'll need the house cleaned, the garden tidied, a three-course lunch cooked, and a table set under the trees. And that's all. Off you go. Uh, um, uh... You missed a spot, Lulu. <sighs> yes, Mayor Rat. Find a softer cushion for my mother, Bananas. Yes, Mayor Rat. More vegetables, Morgan. My mother loves vegetables. Yes, Mayor Rat. Oh, phew. It's lucky Rat is only mayor for one day, B1. Very lucky, B2. I don't remember telling anyone to take a break. And I'm the mayor. You're the pretend mayor, Rat. Well, yes. When is your mother going to get here anyway? Are you sure she'll be here in time for lunch? Perhaps I should go and get the letter to check. Being Rat's servant isn't as much fun as I thought, B1. All right, all right, I'm coming. <clears throat> Mayor Rat speaking. Oh, oh, hello, Mother. Oh, you're feeling sick and might not come at all. Oh, that's terrible news. Oh, well, try and get better, Mother. Bye. Oh, cheese and whiskers. If my mother isn't coming, that means my day of being mayor is already over. But I like being mayor. Oh, there must be some way to get my mother to come here. Oh, think, Rat, think. <gasps> of course, my dress-up box. <laughs> oh, that's it. <gasps> this is exactly the kind of thing my mother wears. <laughs> the teddies and bananas will never know the difference. I'd better take my mare clothes with me too, just in case. <laughs> we'll get it, teddies! Oh, hello there. I'm Mrs. Rat. Oh, please, come in. Oh, thank you, dears. Uh, sorry I'm late. Can we take that heavy bag for you? Oh, thank you. Uh, uh, on second thoughts, uh, I'll keep it. Oof. Your son isn't here right now, Mrs. Rat, but he should be back soon. Oh, I, I don't mind, dear. Hmm, my, what's that delicious smell? That's lunch cooking for you and Mayor Rat. Oh, <laughs> wonderful. I'll have it now, thanks. But don't you want to wait for your son? Oh, he won't mind. And you wouldn't want an old lady to starve now, would you? Mm. <laughs> Delicious. Now, what's for dessert? You want dessert now? Why not? But, Mrs. Rat, shouldn't you wait for your son? Uh, right, in that case, I might have a lie down. I'm feeling a bit tired. No problem, Mrs. Rat. I'll show you upstairs. And let us carry your bag. Oh, I'm fine with it. Really? Ooh. She's quite strong for an old lady, isn't she, B1? Very strong, B2. Here you go, Mrs. Rat. Just let us know if you want anything. Thank you, dear. Now, it's time for Mayor Rat to make an appearance. Rat's taking a long time to come back from the shop. Perhaps we should go and look for him, Teddies. Good idea, Bananas. <gasps> really, Bananas? Sorry, Rat. Rat, your mother's here and has eaten her lunch. And most of yours as well. Uh, really? Well, I'll just finish off that pie then. <laughs> Don't you want to see your mother first? No hurry. I I'd hate to disturb her nap. How did you know she was having a nap? Oh, uh, 
Well, this is her usual lap time, that's all. <laughs> Delicious. Now, I'll just pop up and get changed. <laughs> I mean, wake her. Rat and his mother are behaving quite strangely, don't you think? Very strangely. Thank you, dear. We'll get it, Teddies. Hello there. I'm Mrs. Rat. But how did you get out there, Mrs. Rat? Weren't you having a sleep upstairs? Upstairs? Sorry, is this where my son lives? You mean you haven't seen him yet? Didn't he come up to wake you? Oh dear, now I'm getting very confused. Do you mind if I sit down? Come this way. Thank you. Somehow there seems to be two Mrs. Rats. Mm, you're right, Lulu. One of the Mrs. Rats is just pretending. So, Mrs. Rat, you only just arrived? I wasn't feeling well earlier, so I rang Rat and told him I wasn't coming. You told him you weren't coming? Yes, but I feel better now, so he'll probably be surprised to see me. <laughs> Bananas, would you show Mrs. Rat out to the garden? Come with us, Mrs. Rat. Oh, what a lovely nap. Oh, a friend of yours has just arrived. <gasps> a friend? <laughs> uh, but who? She's out in the garden and she'd love to meet you. Oh, oh, oh I just remembered. Uh, I, I have to be somewhere else. This way. Mrs. Rat. It won't take long. Uh, but, 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 oh, very well. Oh, thank you. Mrs. Rat, we'd like you to meet another Mrs. Rat. Mother, goodness gracious, who are you? That's Mrs. Rat. Mrs. Rat? This is Mrs. Rat. Then who is that Mrs. Rat? Um, I'm her sister. But I don't have a sister. I, I, I mean, her daughter. You don't look like my daughter. Her, her niece? Her cousin? <laughs> Rat? Is, is that, that you? you? I'm afraid so, Bananas. <laughs> Rat, darling, why are you wearing that dress? What am I going to tell her? Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's tell the truth time, Rat. Oh dear, I was afraid you'd say that. So, I'm not the mayor at all, and I don't live in a big house with servants. I should never have told you, Fibs. I'm so sorry, Mother. Oh, Rat, you silly thing. As if I care whether you're the mayor or not. You weren't disappointed. Oh, of course not. I only came to see you, dear. Not your job or your house. The most important thing is that you have these wonderful friends. They're the ones you should say sorry to. Yeah, I suppose I should. In fact, I think they deserve more than an apology. Oh, do I have to? Thanks, Rat. Is that all? No, I'll have a cold drink, please, Rat. Me too, Rat. And Mrs. Rat needs something as well. Just a cup of tea, dear, if it's no trouble. And we'd like some more honey cakes, please, Rat. Cold drinks, tea, honey cakes, oh, cheese and biscuits. Do you think Rat makes a better waiter than a mayor, B1? Oh, yes, B2. Much better. <laughs> <laughs> Shoes. <laughs> when you go bird watching, you have to be prepared for anything, Bernard. Oh, but how will I fit all this in my backpack? Oh, uh, well, just pack it in tightly. It'll be fine. Uh, very well. Thank you, Rat. Uh, 
Here's your honey cakes. Wonderful, Bernard. A pleasure serving you as always. What's that coming out of Rat's shop, B1? It looks like a big pile of camping gear on legs, B2. Hello? Is anybody under there? Uh, it's me, Bananas. Bernard. Hello, Bernard. Here, let's help you carry that. Uh, it's quite all right, Bananas, really. Leave it to us, Bernard. Now, B1. Oopsie! Sorry, Bernard. What's it all for, Bernard? I'm going on a bird watching trip, Bananas. Bird watching? Well, that sounds like fun, B1. It does, B2. How many birds are you going to watch, Bernard? Oh, I just want to see one. The amazing multicoloured mucklebird. It's, it's beautiful. beautiful. Yes, and very rare. I've heard there's one in the area, so I, I just can't wait to see it. The only problem is I don't know how I'll carry all this equipment. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. It's go with Bernard time! Uh, go with me? Yes, we can help you carry your gear. And we can have fun bird watching too. Oh, Bernard, that's a brilliant idea. You look like a real bird watcher, B1. So do you, B2. Ah, oh, Bananas. I've packed up most of the gear, but uh, there's still lots for you to carry. No problem, Bernard. Wonderful. Uh, I'll just go in and get my pack. All right, B1. Why don't I pack your backpack? Yes, B2. And I'll pack yours. Pajama-tastic! What about this, B2? Uh, what is that? It looks like a bag of old twigs and leaves. Must be rubbish, B1. You're right, B2. Oh, set bananas. Oh, uh, what are you doing down there? Nothing, Bernard. Then follow me. We're off to find the muckle bird. Just going to look at the map, Bananas. So, where does the muckle bird live, Bernard? In a little patch of rainforest, Bananas, and there's only one way to get there. Which way is that? Uh, according to the map, we turn off at the big rock that looks like a chair. That looks like a chair? That's right. So keep a good lookout for it. A rock that looks like a chair should be easy to spot, B1. Very easy, B2. Wait a minute. You were sitting on it, Bananas. Look. So we were. And uh, this must be the path. From here on, Bananas, we need to be very quiet so we don't scare the muckle bird. No problem, Bernard. Shh. Sorry. Good. Off we go. Oh. Sorry. Oh. Keep your eyes peeled, Bananas. Mucklebird could appear at any moment. Can you see one, B1? I can't, B2. <whistles> oh, that was the call of the Mucklebird. I'm sure of it. What was? Didn't you hear it, B2? <whistles> there it goes again. Uh, that was just me, Bernard. Uh, still, uh, the, the Mucklebird must be close. Uh, if we stay quiet, we might hear it again. I didn't know that the Mucklebird made rumbling noises. I think that was our tummies, Bernard. It's past lunchtime. Oh, so it is. Remember to look out for Mucklebird nests, Bananas. They're quite unusual. Why are they unusual, Bernard? Because they're filled with lots of odd things that the Mucklebird collects. What kind of odd things? Well, for instance, it loves anything shiny. B2, did you take my spoon? No, B1. That's funny. And it also collects anything brightly coloured. Oh, B1, did you take my cup? No, B2. That's very funny. K 
Can you put these away for me, please, Bananas? Certainly. Can you put these away, B1? Certainly, B2. All right, Bananas. We know the Mucklebird is around here somewhere. We just need it to come out in the open. But how do we make it do that, Bernard? Follow me and I'll show you. <laughs> OK, Bananas, first we sprinkle some bird seed on the ground, like so. Then we put up our bird hide, get inside it and wait for the muckle bird to come and eat. Uh, what's a bird hide? Oh, it's a little tent covered in leaves so the muckle bird can't see us. There was one in with all our gear. You must have packed it into your backpacks. Oh, I'll have a look in your backpack, B1. It's not here, B1. Then it must be in your backpack, B2. Oh dear, it's not there either. It's easy to miss. It just looks like a bag of old twigs and leaves. A, a bag, bag of, of old twigs, twigs and leaves? Hmm, what's wrong, Bananas? I think we left the bird hide back at your place, Bernard. At my place? Sorry, Bernard. Oh dear, we won't be able to see the muckle bird without it. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, B1? I think I am, B2. Let's build a bird hide. To find a bird We won't be seen We won't be heard Softly step And lightly tread Heads down low And eyes ahead Let's so find A muckle bird, muckle bird Looking for a muckle bird, muckle bird A cheeky little chuckle bird, chuckle bird A funny little muckle bird Hides deep in honeysuckles, snitching spoons or shiny buckles, steals rings from off your knuckles. What a naughty muckle bird! We must have enough leaves and branches now, B1. How big is the pile? It's not very big at all. We'd better get more branches, B1. <laughs> Do you need a hand, bananas? No thanks, Bernard. <laughs> Good, B2. Now let's cover them with leaves and twigs. There! It's perfect! Oh! Everything all right, Bananas? Fine, Bernard. Couldn't be better. <laughs> there! Bernard! I think we're ready. Oh, excellent, Bananas. Thanks, Bernard. How do we get inside? Get inside? B2, how do we get inside? Um, I think we forgot the door, B1. Don't worry, B2, I can fix that. Here's the door, Bernard. Excellent. Uh, thank you, Bananas. Right, now we just stay quiet and wait for the Mucklebird to appear. Everyone comfortable? Fine. Thanks, Bernard. It's time for a biscuit, B1. Good idea, B2. They're in the tin beside you. Oh, right. One for you, B2, and one for me. B2, did you eat my biscuit before? No, B1, I didn't. That's funny. Oh, bananas. I saw something moving. It must be the muckle bird. Where, oh. Bernard? Ah! Oh, dear. If the muckle bird was here, we've scared it off now. Sorry, Bernard. Never mind, Bananas. Oh, well, we might as well go home. Home? We'll just have to try and find the muckle bird again next year. Next year? Now, where did you put that map and compass? I think I gave them to you, B1. And I put them in my backpack, B2. They're gone. Gone? But bananas, we can't find our way home without them. Don't worry, Bernard. We remember the way home, don't we, B1? Do we, B2? Just follow us, Bernard. Uh, very well, Bananas. Are you sure it's this way, B1? I thought you were sure, B2. I could be wrong, Bananas, but I think we're going around in circles. Oh, dear. That must mean we're lost. No need to panic, Bananas. Let's just look around and see if we can spot anything familiar. What's that shining over there, B1? <gasps> it's the Mucklebird! 
bird. There's all the things we lost. Burn it! What is it, bananas? Look! A muckle bird sitting on an egg. No one's ever seen a muckle bird egg before. And look, Bernard, the muckle bird took our map and compass. So we can find our way home after all. Bananas, this is the best bird watching trip I've ever had. Our pleasure, Bernard. Bernard, could you take a photo of us with the muckle bird? All right, Bananas. Give me a nice big smile. Muckle bird! Oh, Bananas, you do make me wag.